How long to get federal tax refund 2020? Master limited partnerships are absolute in that they embody the tax benefits of a limited partnership with the liquidity of common stock. While MLP has a partnership arrangement it also issues tradable units that may be bought and sold on the securities exchange. There is an issue why all companies are not master limited partnerships. There are strict criteria as detailed by the Tax Reform Act of 1986 and the Revenue Act of 1987 that restrict which companies may arrangement themselves as MLPs altogether speaking a firm must earn 90% of its income through activities or interest and dividend payments relating to natural resources commodities or real estate to qualify as an MLP. A MLP has two kinds of partners the limited partners and the general partner limited partner invests capital into the venture and obtains periodic cash distributions commonly periodical and as a result call required distributions the general partner oversees the MLP's operations and receives agitational distributions rights. The investors also receive shares of the annual income depending on number of units owned. MLPs by the awful nature of their arrangement utilize a number tax advantages. Being a partnership they keep away from both federal and state corporate taxes. For an individual investor while the share of the annual income is taxed at the personal tax rate the periodical distributions are not but considered as reductions in the investment's cost basis and produce a tax accountability that can be deferred until the security is sold. Investors frequently get exceeding cash payments than the amount upon which they are taxed creating an adequate means of tax deferral. As per a 2003 report by Wachovia Securities the taxable income passed on to investors often is only 10-20% of the cash allotment while the other 80-90% is deemed a return of capital and departed from the actual cost basis of the endorse investment. Tax-exempt investment vehicles like pensions endowments and 401 plans are restricted from owning MLPs because the cash distributions received are intended to similar business taxable income income that is unrelated to the activity that gives the fund tax-exempt status. If the annual cash allotment crosses $1,000 it will be subject to tax. Therefore when investing in MLPs invest through a brokerage account and not an IRA account.